Okay, so today uh, I'm just coming out to the shop. It's a Wednesday. And uh, I'm going to do some testing on uh, a brand new item I picked up for the shop to make it a little easier for me to work out here during the winter time. And this test here is going to determine just whether or not I'm going to be able to come out during a weekday or maybe just on the weekends or not at all. And what I picked up was a 175,000 BTU kerosene fueled uh, torpedo heater here. Now this one's kind of a fancier one. I picked up from TSC a week and a half ago for oh about uh, 400 bucks. It was on sale. I imagine the price in the U.S. probably isn't going to be too different. And uh, by my calculations, now this place is rather poorly heated or insulated, I should say, poorly heated as well. Uh, I've insulated the ground floor walls. Haven't done the uh, doors, but. Uh, that hasn't been enough to really do much for me, so I figured out that uh, I probably need at least about 88,000 BTUs to keep this rather drafty place uh, warm. So I'm hopeful that this thing at 175,000 is going to be enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it for half an hour and see how much it brings the temperature up. Now the current outdoor temperature is about 4 degrees Celsius or about 38. The interior temperature in here is about... 5 Celsius or about 40 Fahrenheit. Now we'll see what half an hour of this thing running full blast is going to do for us. Okay, so now I should mention that uh, for me, kerosene isn't exactly a practical heat. It's available in bulk here, but uh, uh, what's a much more easier uh, source of fuel for me is diesel. Now this unit right here is a uh, multi-fuel unit which includes uh, at least two different kinds of uh, diesel number one and number two now I honestly don't know what the difference is but but in any case I've got dyed diesel in my uh, tractor uh, uh, fuel tank and uh, and uh, that's what I've dumped in this thing now I filled it up to about half because I wasn't sure how well it was going to work and if it was really going to make a stink in here I didn't want to have to drain out a huge amount of diesel. Now I'd already run it once, shooting the uh, heat out the door for probably about five minutes just to see if it did stink, and it seemed okay. So I'm going to fire this thing up and we're going to see how it's going to go. Now this is a little bit of a fancier unit. It's actually got a thermostat. I'll set it to 25 Celsius. I'm doubtful that in half an hour it's going to bring it up that much, you know, tw a full 20 degrees, but let's see how it goes. Now it's saying it's about 40 in here right now. Now it's pretty noisy. Now they do recommend that it be aimed away from flammable. About 8 feet away. So I've got a fair bit of clear space in front of it here. You can certainly see why they recommend keeping the front end of it clear. Uh, it glows red hot at this end. And you can even see some flames flicking out past the edge of it. So it's definitely a heavy duty unit. I'll set, go set my timer and we'll see what happens in half an hour. Now I thought I should also mention that I picked up a carbon monoxide detector for the shop. Just in case that uh, that thing is malfunctioning, I figure it's an easy way to uh, to know if I'm getting gassed out of here. Uh, obviously, it'd be nicer to have a carbon dioxide detector because this thing could, could be consuming all the air in here. But uh, we'll wait and see. So far, it's not really very pungent, so I'm happy with that. I was a little worried about the diesel, but uh, I'll uh, call back in uh, in half an hour here. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes, and the temperature in here, or at least over where I usually work, is up to about 17 Celsius or about 62 to 63 Fahrenheit. So that's not bad for half an hour worth of heating here. It's brought the temperature up easily, uh, you know, 10, 11 degrees in uh, in half an hour. So it thinks it's about 46. Presumably that's due to the uh, unique way I've kind of set up my shop here. Um, basically I've got the, the uh, plastic up because it was my intention to uh, try and make it a little bit easier to heat up the shop with, uh, with the wood stove. And uh, 
I might take it down so that it can uh, utilize the whole, you know, air of the building, and uh, it might be a little bit smarter about when it shuts off. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I hate to take down plastic. It was a fair bit of work to put it up, but uh, if it makes it heat a little bit more evenly or work a little smarter, then that's better. Now, some thoughts on the unit right now. Um, it, I'm running it on diesel. There is definitely an odor to this unit. Uh, I don't think I would want to use it as my primary heat source. It's good for bringing the temperature up, but I think I am going to try and rely on the uh, wood stove for keeping this place warm and just use the, uh, the uh, kerosene diesel heater there as uh, supplementary heat or bring it back up to temperature heat. You know, whereas I'm hoping that the wood stove will maintain the temperature. All in all, I'm quite happy with the unit. No appreciable fuel consumption in a half an hour. Uh, it is a noisy bugger. And you also do have to be a little careful about where the exhaust is pointing, obviously. Uh, the corner of this is getting quite warm. And uh, so I pulled it forward a bit. Um, I think I'm satisfied with it. It doesn't get me out of uh, insulating my shop better, but uh, it works very well. It might be less uh, stinky. If I use kerosene, I don't know. I might have to buy a couple of pails at some point just to try it out and see. So that's my review of the uh, ProTemp PT175T uh, KFA. 175,000 PTU heater available at uh, TSC.